connected. What's up YouTube, it's the Fobra, today out in the garage, and what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be working on a truck today. And I know ordinarily we work on motorcycles, but this truck actually has a pretty significant story within our circle of friends. This truck is a 2007 Ford Expedition, and it has towed nearly every one of my motorcycles, and all the motorcycles in uh, the guys we roll with. So it's been super, super important. So it's time to upgrade the headlights on that Expedition. So let's pull it in. To change the headlight bulb on an Expedition, you have to remove two 10 millimeter headed bolts up on top. And then aside from some locating pins on the side, we should be able to remove the whole assembly. Okay, so here's the driver's side assembly. Let's spin it around and you can see here's the turn signal parking light. And that's the headlight. That's what we're going to concentrate on. So to remove the headlight bulb, just grab it and give it a twist counterclockwise and it'll come out. This is an H13 bulb. Here's what we're gonna replace it with. So here are our aux beam headlights. This is the S3 series. Each one offers 8,000 lumens at 6,500 Kelvin temperature. It should be a nice white light with a hint of blue. The cooling fan is included. It's actually part of the body. And what's really interesting about this particular LED bulb is that it doesn't have an LED driver. It's kind of built in, I guess, and uh, yeah, it should be plug and play with our H13 harness plug. Okay, comparing the aux beam LED bulb to the stock H13, you can see that overall they're just a little bit longer and that's because of this cooling fan. And these are direct fit, there's no modification necessary. This should pop right into the headlight assembly. So let's get to installing it. Okay, line it up turn it'll lock into place and there's our OEM plug so let's put it back on the truck so we can reinstall all of our harness connectors parking light first side marker and the headlight and what's nice about it is all the plugs are OEM plug and play and now we can push the headlight back in using these locating tabs on the side and on top with the assembly back into place we will retighten those 10 millimeter head bolts. And this side is all set. So on the driver's side, we have the aux beam LED light on low beam. On the passenger side, we have the OEM halogen. So now we move on to the passenger side. is all done and the headlights look amazing. I have to tell you the difference in the headlights really updates the look of that truck uh, and makes it look much more modern. Those yellow headlights really weren't doing much of anything for them. In addition to that the truck's gonna have greater visibility at night and uh, the owner reports that it's much much better than it was. So I gotta be honest I think it's really cool that we're able to update a vehicle that's done so much for a lot of us. I'm super excited to announce that we've teamed up with Auxbeam and we're gonna be having a giveaway. Two lucky winners are gonna receive free of charge a set of LED Auxbeam FS3 headlights just like we put into that truck. All you have to do is two things. Number one, make sure you like this video. Number two, comment down below the word Auxbeam. That's all you have to do. It doesn't matter what it says around that, but make sure it says the word Auxbeam and you'll be entered to be randomly selected to receive one of the two free kits. Now the deadline for this is midnight, August 1st, 2019. So make sure that you get your entrant in on time. That's all you gotta do for a free set of headlights just like the ones we just put in the truck. If you have any questions or comments, put them in a the section down below. I'll do my very best to answer them. 
And as usual, thank you so much for watching. Ride safe, and I'll see you.